So I'm gonna be telling you about my three sugar mama moment. My three most popular sugar mama moment. Yeah, sugar mama sexy. Okay, that used to be me. I used to be yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate all the love and support y'all have all been giving me. Y'all have no idea. Anyways, let's let's talk about the giveaway a little bit. Congratulations to both my winners. You guys are amazing, as the rest of y'all. But did y'all see that? Like I was literally about to just give away everything in my bank account. Wait, no, 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 not in my bank account. But like I was gonna just keep going until I got to the fifth cent. Cause y'all all are winners. Y'all all deserve it. But like I said, there will be more. Now today's video is gonna be about uh me being stupid. Yes, when I was a little girl. Well, not a little girl, but like younger, younger me. I be feeling like I'm 40. I'm only 22. But uh, yeah, so stay tuned. I'm telling y'all about three instances where I was a sugar mama. Yes, a sugar, me a sugar mama, okay? But before I get started, we're gonna do things a little bit different today. I'm gonna read you one of my poems. Why is the poem important to this video? You probably be asking. Um. When I got over the situation and I realized it was a sugar mama situation, I wrote a poem and I sent it to him, right? And he was like, is this about me? And I was just like, wow, throw him away. He ain't worth it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It was about him though, but I couldn't find the poem that I wrote because I write so much and then me getting new phones, it all gets switched out in the cloud and the ones I have is the one I read. So this is close to what I sent him. So I'm gonna read this to y'all, okay? All right, free me. And it reads, when you left me, it hurt. It hurt like hell. It still hurts like hell. I keep having these withdrawals, withdrawals of insecurities. These voices, they just won't stop talking to me. God found me and I became happy. But it started to hurt again when I realized he was not yet finished with me. Love found me at a time when I wasn't really looking. Nevertheless, I accepted it with the intentions of just keeping it pushing. Then it started hurting. Every time I turn my back, I think about now, how will I be affected? I think I'll go over the things I thought I left in the past, in the grave. But to my understanding, I carried myself in a cave with my thoughts. Just free me and let me be. Let me love to maximum capacity. Let me appreciate the people around me and stop living so cautiously. May I stop thinking the love of my life would leave me all because you thought I was unworthy. Free me. Thank you. Thank you. Look at you over there getting all teary eyed. <laughs> Anyways, the first instance to which I was a sugar mama is going to piggyback off of that poem. Oh, we never spoke to each other ever, ever, ever. Right? And then he met me at a very questionable time in my life where I had no friends. I was just going to school, getting what I have to get done done and just going home at the end of that and i had rededicated my life to christ so you know missed me with all the fast stuff right so how did this situation become a sugar mom situation i voiced my opinion i was like look you know i'm a christian i'm celebrating we're not gonna be doing anything physical so take your exit while you can right and he was like oh no my ex used to be a christian as well and i had to deal with that so it's not a big deal to me you know no brainer. So I was like, okay, continue things or whatever. And I would be at work. And then he'll text me like, oh, uh, if you love me or if you like me, bring me Chick-fil-A. So myself, being myself, picked up myself and tried to find Chick-fil-A in the city. Now, I didn't know there was a Chick-fil-A on 34th Street or a Chick-fil-A on 47th Street. So I went to NYU. I think they have like a, it's like a campus cafeteria or whatever. And then I picked up like the bun and everything. I thought that's what Chick-fil-A was. I brought it to him and he was just like, what is this? And I'm just like, yo, Chick-fil-A. And he was like, oh no, that's not it or whatever. So we walked back to original Chick-fil-A or whatever. And we're sitting down. This man, I kid you not, ordered himself his food. And then he goes, oh, you want something to drink? So me being myself, I'm just like, uh, no, no, I'm good, huh? So I just sat there watching him eat like, you dirty dog, okay? And you would think that situation stopped there for me. It absolutely did not. No, 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 it didn't. So I'm speaking to him on the phone, right? He has a car and he's one of those guys, his car is always in the shop, always making adjustments to it, adding stickers, whatever he wanted to with it, right? And he makes, he makes decent amount of money. I make okay amount of money, right? 
And he's like, oh, peep um, the swindle, peep the swindle, okay? So I'm talking to him on the phone. I'm coming from um, school and we're talking. He's like, oh, we should go out. I was like, yeah, I know this really good place. It's called Blacktop. I really love it. They have bomb milkshakes and the chicken, you know, that's the place. So he's like, okay. And then we talked a little bit after that. Then he goes, oh, my car's in the shop. I don't have a Metro card. I don't know how I'm gonna get to work. I don't know how I'm gonna get to school. So me being myself, I'm like, oh, you know, don't worry about it. I'll give you $31 so you can buy a weekly Metro card. He's like, no, um, I don't need you to help me out with the Metro card because you already gonna take me out. What? I never said that, but I didn't say anything in the moment. I was just kind of like, all right. Okay, okay, you wanna know, I got it. You wanna know that I'm independent, I'm spontaneous, and I can take care of us. I got you, I got you. So I let it rock. I did, like an idiot, I let it rock. But y'all see how he played me though? Oh my God. All right, cool. So we get to the restaurant, we eat in, you know, like I said, Black Tap is a place where you get milkshakes and burgers. It's amazing, if you haven't been, you should go. And um, after his meal, he goes, oh, um, I'm thirsty. Hold on. Before the thirsty comment, I got the bill. The bill is $80. Yes, $80, which is not bad, but it's like, you eating mad stuff? I don't even eat burgers, you know? My meal costs like, what, $10, $15 plus the milkshake, $30? I'm paying $80, which means your food came up to the next 50, okay? So that's cool. He's like, oh, I'm thirsty. Every restaurant provides free water. Free water. All you got to do is pour it out. It's on the table. The waiter came around. He said, hey, can I get a lemonade? The lemonade cost $8. So now my bill is $90 with everything tax included and all that. Mind you, there is no tip. We have not spoken about the tip or anything like that. Y'all tell me why. I paid everything. I showed you. I showed his. I, I paid for everything. And I'm telling this story to my brother. He's just like, you idiot. You should have just walked up, walk off the table. But I'm not built like that. Because I feel like we're supposed to be building with each other. Well, after that, I knew there was no building with each other. And after he's finished eating, he's just looking at me and smile. Basically talking about what ne what's next. Home is what's next. Home, literally. Like, he really sat there and played me. And that's not even the end of his story and how he tried to make me, when I am trying to make me, succeeded in me continuing the sugar mama relationship is we're talking regular. He came out of nowhere like, oh, my car needs these speakers. I was just like, what speakers? The picture came through and I just said, oh, I don't see anything. And he just kept sending me three, four, five, six times. I was like, that's the end of it. And then how did we end? We didn't end on the sugar mama situation. We ended on, he asked me to come by where he lived, right? We're sitting outside on a stool and he takes his phone and he's like, you know, scrolling through it or whatever. Disrespectful, by the way, if I'm supposed to be the person that you're speaking to and want to be a winner and all this crap. But he never vocalized that, so maybe I was delusional for thinking that we would have something beyond what was happening. And um, it's this girl or as his screensaver. And I'm like, who's that? And he's like, oh, that's an Instagram model. I'm clocking out. <laughs> what? An Instagram model with that dirty background? Boy, come on. Get out of here with all that head stuff. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Do I look stupid? I know, I know, I know I'm loaded. But do I look stupid to you? Do I look like I was born yesterday? I heard somebody in the back talking about, yeah, you were born yesterday paying for a man's food. You know, that wasn't even trying to get anywhere with you. I'm sorry. I was young and dumb and stupid. <laughs> so damn strong. And then did y'all know this Negro had the nerve to come up to my job and ask me to use my employee discount? So you <laughs> you took that from me plus and you still want more money from me? You want money to dust it off of what you paying for me? No, that ain't happening. So I was just like, no. Yeah, I know Christ in me gave me the hope of glory both to will and to tell his but no. Yep, show did, show did. Situation number two happened fresh out of high school into college. You know what's funny? Stories are much better when you can name drop, but I don't want to name drop anybody because I'm not trying to deal with the backlash, you know what I'm saying? I want to tell my story in peace. Anyways, um, this guy, he used to go to my high school, but he graduated or whatever. 
and um, we started talking while we were while I was going to school actually yeah while I was still in high school we were talking and um, this man played me y'all this man played me like a damn fool and I was his sugar mama as well this is how so whenever he's hungry or whatever this man is eligible he can't get a job just I don't know why he never had it and I just felt proud in the fact that I was you know going to school and having a job and having money didn't know what to do with it I guess so like he will ask me like oh I ain't got nothing to eat can you help me out I'm like okay come to my job you know I'll I'll give you like something something so give me like twenty dollars here thirty dollars there twenty dollars here but then in my my spirit I knew it wasn't right right so one day he was like oh can I um can I have fifty dollars so I'm like, oh, what do you need $50 for? Because prior to that, I wasn't asking no questions. He's just, oh, he went for food. So I was like, oh, what you need the $50 for? He's like, oh, I needed to buy a dub. I'm not going to explain what a dub is. If you don't know, I'm so sorry. I'm so very sorry. So he's just, oh, I need $50 for a dub. So I'm just like, okay. <laughs> All right, whatever. So I gave him the money and whatnot. And let me tell you how I got clowned for that situation because a dub don't cost no $50. Yes, yeah, so I got robbed for a dub. And please, do not make me go viral for being stupid and giving a man $50 to buy a dub because a dub don't cost no $50, okay? Forgive me. I'm sorry. I got clowned for the dub situation. Of course, I wasn't going to bring it up to him. Why? I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. Yes, I am embarrassed to give you $50 for something that don't cost $50. So I let it rock or whatever. I should have asked him for my change. Yes, I should have asked him for my change. But I didn't do that because I'm too nice. Way, way too nice nice but here's this right so we're texting and i'm like oh what are you doing he's like oh i'm about to meet up with this girl to borrow ten dollars so i'm just like why are you meeting up with some other girl like you're disrespecting me how could you you know what i'm saying like why are you even telling me this if you're gonna do it just do it you know what i'm saying like don't tell me now you're, you're disrespecting me you know what i'm saying and he was just kind of like that girl is you <laughs> and y'all know what i did I went and gave it to him. Yeah, I sure did. I went and gave it to him. I met up with him and I gave him the $10. And it was as if it wasn't bad enough. It wasn't bad enough him asking me for $10. Because I feel like if a man is asking a woman for money, he should feel embarrassed. You know why you should feel embarrassed? Because you're a bum. Unless you don't have it because you ran out of money or that woman is your wife and you sitting there asking women for money you are a bum a sitting there asking women for money you're a bum work go to work you should be providing for her you know what i'm saying yes so as if that wasn't bad enough he goes oh um I'm, I'm gonna imitate him right um i know that you know you've been holding it down you've been borrowing me money and um I'm not gonna lie, I appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? And to show my appreciation, he didn't use those terminologies, I'm just making him sound professional. Um, to show my appreciation, I'm gonna take you out. I'm gonna bring you away there. You know where they eat pineapples with the rice inside, you know what I'm saying? That nice, fancy, classy stuff. I was like, oh wow, yeah, I know, oh my god. So my silly, gullible self is like, oh my god, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I can't wait, oh my god, I can't wait. So he gave me a date or whatever, and um, that date fell on my senior dinner for high school. And I was like, okay, no problem, whatever. So senior day the day comes. I get dressed up, looking all nice, putting, you know, makeup from MAC. I went and did the entire yard to miss the senior dinner. Yes, I did miss senior dinner. She got me off guard. But yeah, y'all, I missed senior dinner i missed it i had my face beat and everything i missed senior dinner all because i wanted to look nice because i was going to get taken out after you guys the night came i'm waiting for the guy and i'm waiting for the guy and i'm waiting for the guy the guy never showed up i went on facebook and i saw him post oh at the spot with rich so i'm just like who the hell is rich because rich ain't me and rich ain't here rich ain't here no and that man never spoke to me for I want to say five six months so he borrowed all this money for me and he never paid me back and he never even tried to make it up by giving me the pineapple and rice y'all you could have came gave me the pineapple and rice and then call it quits and then go about your life but this man owe me now I should sue him because he owe me money because he ain't say give him ten dollars he said borrow him ten dollars so yeah I think I got a case I got a case
Like, how could you? Okay, so I was his whole sugar mama. And you know what he did after those six months? He texted me talking about, oh, Merry Christmas. I hope you got everything you wanted. Don't reply. I'm just like, I know <laughs> you're not telling me what to do after you couldn't even hold up to your end of taking me somewhere. So I texted him back, and I was just like, you low-down, dirty dog. I went off. I went O-F-F, and I'm not talking about the repellent. I went off on him. Like, how could you? Why would you do that? If you don't want the situation, say you don't want the situation. But don't milk me. Like, I'm the milk woman. And I'm over here playing myself, making myself available to these guys. And all they're doing is just go, 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 go. And then until they can't get no more. I'm not a cow. But I was milked. I was milked. So that was his situation. Question number three happened when a guy I had no business being with in the first place. Yes, so whatever I got with him, I'm going to take. I'm going to just take it and run. But this situation isn't that bad, but it was still like, I feel like it was a beginning to a sugar mama situation that I didn't let, I did not let it escalate. Okay? So this guy, like I said, is a guy I had no business being with, right? He played basketball. That was, that was me in college. Sucker for ball players. Little do y'all know them ball players, they really, they're not, take out the ball, they're just players because most of them they don't even know how to play they don't know how to play basketball yes i said it i'm so sorry no all these people are like oh i get buckets i get this i get that you go watch them in the game they suck yes s-u-c-k they suck okay i'm sorry i had to get that out off my chest i've been holding it in for a long time so this guy you know, we get off the ferry he's like oh i'm hungry i was just like okay why are you telling me but i'm just like damn you know, I'm dealing with him, so I guess it's my responsibility or whatever. Wrong mindset, but that was it at the time. And then his friend's like, oh, yeah, Bamon, um, he hungry. He hungry or whatever. And I'm just like, okay. Y'all, my favorite restaurant, well, ex-favorite restaurant. Matter of fact, oh, I'm not going to disrespect Wendy like that. She don't deserve it. Wendy's is in the ferry station, and uh, he says he's hungry. That's the nearest thing. So I go over there thinking this guy's going to order a four for four. Because who orders anything else outside of a whore? Right? So this man ordered a whole meal. An entire meal. And it wasn't even small. It was a large. Yeah, a large. It was a large. And after that, he was just like, oh, thank you so much. Like, you know, I was really hungry or whatever. And I'm just like. I don't even order all that from myself. You know, and uh, you would think it stopped there, but it didn't. Because after that, I got pictures of shirts, pictures of shorts, mentions of shoes. He even took me to flat club. You know, I thought it was like a day that like we were just walking through so he could buy himself some. But I guess he brought me this so I could soften up and want to buy him some damn shoes. It wasn't happening. It wasn't happening on my watch. No, no ma'am, no ham, no turkey. So yes, I was a sugar mama. I wasn't proud of it, but at least I had money. And in my mind at the time, I'm just kind of like, you know what? I'm schooling these guys. Like, you know, I got it. I'm gonna provide. But literally, I know guys who want women to sit there and spoil them and shower them with gifts and all that, and they're not giving them anything. They got mommy issues. Yes, they do. Take it from me. They got mommy issues because they never had someone to provide for them or they never had someone who would like, you know, give them materialistic things that they need, want or desire. OK, and it's not my fault. You got mommy issues because I don't got to pay for what your mama didn't pay for is how I see it. So I after that situation, I retired. I'm like, I ain't buying a man, not a damn thing ever again in my life. Nope. Sorry. But then I got married and that changed. But no, sweetheart, save your money. Don't buy that man nothing if he ain't trying to buy you nothing, okay? And if he's sitting there trying to guilt trip you about this, that, I know y'all seen the movie Acrimony. Trying to guilt trip you about what he doesn't have because you have it? No, sweetheart. Y'all got to be wiser. And I wish I had somebody to talk to me back. Matter of fact, I don't. Because if somebody tried to talk to me, you know what I'm going to say? Mind your business. You know what I'm saying? But experience is the greatest teacher. And yeah, stop being a sucker for these guys, y'all. Stop it. Stop it. Keep your money. Put it in the bank. Every time a guy tell you something, 
that another guy told you, take that dollar that you finna spend on that $20 or that $200, buying him game and shoes and sneakers, whatever, and put it in your bank account because you'll see how fast it accumulates. These guys, they run in a Ponzi scheme. These guys are scammers. And stop falling victim to that crap, okay? So thank you guys so much for tuning into my video. I hope you had fun and enjoyed this story of mine. You know, of how I was a sugar mama for three guys. Actually, I've been a sugar mama for more guys, but three juiciest stories I have, okay? So without further ado, I'm hoping to see y'all in my next video.